Hey guys, today this video will be a documentary about the tabletop game of Warhammer 40k. Now this is the same game that I have mentioned in the first video that I made for the channel. Link will be in the comment section below. I am planning to put more videos like this on my channel about different factions you can play as. There will be less random videos here forward for my channel. Now, this is my first big project I have done like this, so I hope all of you can enjoy. So what is Warhammer 40k? Warhammer 40k is a tabletop game based in the Milky Way galaxy and the year is 40,000. It is owned by a company named Games Workshop and the designers of this series are Rick Presley and Alasso Capitori. Warhammer was created in 1987. The first edition of the game was titled Warhammer 40k Road Trader and the rules were based on Warhammer Final Fantasy. The Road Trader subtitle was dropped due to marketing concerns. It was meant to be a sci-fi version of Warhammer Fantasy Battle. It was also meant to be more for role playing than for strict war game. The original came as a very detailed rulebook, which made it most suitable for fighting small skirmishes. Most of the composition of the units were determined randomly by rolling dice. In addition, submental material was continuously published called White Dwarf Magazine, which provided rules, new units, and models. Eventually, White Dwarf pro provided proper army lists that could be used to create larger and more coherent forces that were possible in the main rulebook. These articles from time to time released in expansion books along with new rules, background materials, and illustrations. In all 10 books were released in the original edition of Warhammer 40k. The second edition of Warhammer 40k was published in the late 1993. This new course for the game was forged under the direction of editor Andy Chambers. The second edition came in a box set that included Space Marines and Orc miniatures, scenery, dice, and main rulebook. The art, box artwork and studio army depicted the Blood Angels chapter. And the expansion box set titled Dark Millennium was later released, which included rules for psychic powers. Another trait of the game was intention given to special characters representing specific individuals from the background who had access to equipment and abilities beyond those of others. The early edition only had three generic heroic profiles for each army, champion, minor hero, and major hero. The second edition introduced major revising to lore and would go on to define the general character of the lore up until edition 8. The third edition of the game was released in 1998 and was like the second edition, concentrated on streamlining the rules for larger battle. The third edition rules were notably simple. The rule book was available alone or the box set with miniatures of Space Marine and newly introduced race of the Dark Eldar. The system of Codex Astartes started in the third edition. The box artwork and studio army depicted the Black Templar Space Marine chapter. In the third edition introduced new races, the Necrons and the Tau. The Tau would later gain popularity for the game in the United States. The fourth edition of Warhammer was released in 2004. The fourth edition was released in three forms. The first was in background information about Warhammer 40k universe. And the second was a box set called Battle Necrag and introduced the race called the Tyranids. The third was a limited edition collector Battle Necrag 
was a, a game in a box targeted for primarily at the beginning. The 5th edition of Warhammer 40k was released in 2008. There were some rules that have changed between 4th and 5th, but general rules were still the same. The replacement for the previous starter kit, Battle for McGreg, was called Assault on Black Reach. The 5th edition codex, which has seen the return of many previous units cut out from the previous edition for having unwieldy rules. In addition, the 5th edition was focused largely on space marines. The 6th edition was released in 2012. There were some changes to this edition, including an optional psychic power card system. It also included an expanded rules for greater interactions with scenery and more dynamic close combat. In addition to updating existing rules and adding new ones, the 6th edition introduced several large changes, such as an alliance system, the choice of taking one fortification, part of the forces, warlord traits, and the replacement for assault on reach, box set was the Dark Angels box set, which included Dark Angels and Chaos Space Marine mod. The 7th edition was released in 2014. It saw major changes to the game such as a dedicated psychic phase and as well as the way psychic powers work overall. They also introduced tactical objectives that could give players alternative means to score victory. 8th edition was released in 2017. There was major revision intended to make it easier for new players to enter the hobby. The narrative of the setting has also been updated, and the large Eye of Terror has split the galaxy in half, while the Primarch Rubuto Gilliman returns to lead the Imperium as Lord Commander, beginning with the reclaiming devastated worlds through the Indominist Crusade. The 8th edition released a new box called Dark Imperium. 9th edition was released in 2020. With a redesigned logo, the first in 22 years. 9th edition was not a total overhaul of 8th edition's rules. The codex, supplements, and rules for Psychic Awakening series made 8th edition more compatible with 9th. In addition, they have retracted the ability called Overwatch from all shooting units for every race except the Tau. The four boxes featured revised design and new units for the Necrons and new units for Primidius Space Marines. Over the years, several popular miniature game spin-offs were created, including Space Crusade, Space Hulk Deathwing, Kill Team, Battlefield Galactic, Epic 40,000, Inquisitor, Gork Karmara, Necrodorma, Assassin Orama, Execution Force, Dawn of War, Dawn of War 2, and a collectible card game called Dark Millennium.